Hi, this is Crayhelm. This is a uh, an analysis uh, recording of a Brom support game for Wolfman 414, or your in-game 4DR3AM Wolfman. Um, this is based on Summoner School, a weekly weekly replay review thread um, you put down. Um, the specific things you wanted to have addressed was uh, what would uh, what should you do in specific situations, positioning wise, and things like that. Um, what you should have built as well as uh, small quirks or bad habits uh, that you may have that you uh, want me to point out. So that's what I'm going to go into is the specific game right here. So when this is a support, um, one of your biggest uh, things that you want to do is understanding that the game, of course, has the two faces. You know, I'm assuming that you know a lot of games, basic game knowledge as well as, you know, meta and whatnot or... You know, just how the game works, you know, champions and whatnot, assuming based on how you've played and things like that, and how you put gold for and whatnot. So, we're, you want to always look at your AD carry first, right, at least for laning. So, there's laning, and then there's the rest of the game. So, for your laning phase, you want to think about what your AD carry is. So, Jinx. Jinx is a very later, mid to late game hyper carry, not so strong in lane. There's different reasons, but you can kind of look them up. But like Q, the fact that she has that steroid, the minigun, later on as well as the long range of her Q auto attack, makes her very strong late game as well as some scaling. Early game in lane, she has some mana troubles. She's squishy. She doesn't have much mobility, which puts her in a very dangerous spot. So her goal is to get out of lane, not necessarily to get kills or fight a lot in lane. This game will be a little bit weird. I don't know if you see the scoreboard right now. We're already at 18 minutes. She's 6-0, so... Yes, very um, different than most uh, times you'd play with her. We'll look at their team, their, their bottom lane. So we have Caitlyn. Caitlyn, very vanilla, just above average the entire game long, which means whatever her support is, is what makes the difference. If you have questions on why these champions are this way, I can let you know uh, why Caitlyn's very vanilla and above average. Cannon. Cannon is kind of Braum, but early game version. His Q is longer range. He has a long stun as well as his abilities to do some burst damage. He's looking more for kind of kills in lane, um, as well as his ult at level 6 makes him quite strong as well. Later on, he is not as good as he can only stun one time, and that's it, versus Brom, of course. You get your passive on all five people, and other people help you with it versus him. He needs to use his abilities on the specific champions. Um, his ulti does not have its own specific stun like Brom but rather it works on his passive. So, you do not want to, with the Kenna being early game, you being in a later game compared to him, you do not want to fight a lot in lane, as well as Jinx doesn't want to, so understanding that, that's how you look at the lane, that's how you should play the lane. I hope that makes sense. As an AD carry, what I would want is for you not to be trading, but rather protecting me and getting, letting me get the CS. I don't like to talk about the small things, the micro game as much. I, I want to give you something that applies to later on other games, going further, so I'm not going to go over most of the time the laning phase, because ganks make it so different, being ahead or below, like, it really doesn't matter as much, because maybe one game, your Jinx will go 6-0, maybe they'll go 6 sometimes it'll go 0-0, zero, zero, sometimes it'll be 1-0, and it all depends on ganks. But the later game is really what matters and makes the difference, and that you can actually learn and apply over and over and over, kind of a thing. So I'm actually just going to completely jump past the laning, the laning phase, and move forward. I believe I gave you enough about that. So, um, I'm actually going to stop for a build right now. We're going to look at it. So, laning usually will end sometime between 15 and 20 minutes. Is usually nowadays the su your support items will actually be, your core will be finished. Your core, at least Braum right now, will be as you have face of the mountain, tier 1 or tier 2 boots, okay, and then usually a sight stone. You have a giant spell. I believe that is your mistake. You need to get wards out there. We look on the map right now. Your team has one ward. Oh, I'm sorry. There's another one in this bush. So, two wards. Oh, there's a third and a pink. Okay, I'm sorry. But either way, you guys don't have enough vision to really see a lot of people on their team. Right now, if we do Fog of War for red team, we see a cannon. And a gang. And a uh, gang. No vision around any of this. This is all dark. Okay, make sure to get more wards out with that, with your Sightstone. Also, Sightstone gets more value the, uh, the earlier you buy it, because that means more wards you put out. Um, now, I'm going to show you why you want to get the Sightstone really quick, is wards save lives. 
Okay, right now you're jinx 6L. Yeah, you're probably 7-0, but your jinx is your 80 carry who's fed. Sit on her, keep her alive. In this case, you're going to see her die. She's kind of dumb, and you guys don't have vision. So follow the jinx and follow the Vi. Right now we're following the Vi. You saw her a little bit, but you don't know she's coming until like right here. Okay, and sadly jinx doesn't realize or doesn't know what Vi is doing. But if, if you saw her from the, this is this is. I mean, I'm just picking a small thing that happened in this game that really. Shouldn't have happened, but also you can apply to later on by buying a sight stone. But so Jinx, your fed person is gonna die because of that positioning and not vision and whatever else you want to attain it to. You had this, but I mean, you know, you see her for like half a second. You know, she walks right here. But um, yeah, that's warding a part of the item build that I would go into, as well as I'll go into more in a little bit. I'm gonna get into the big part of your job as Brom now. You're more utility and defense and protecting and kiting. Your job is not too much to be frontline and going forward and making plays. You want to be someone who initiates, makes plays, frontline kind of thing. Pick a Leona, an Annie, a Morgana, a Sona maybe even, um, and actually go for it. Don't pick a Brom. Brom, his Q require is not a Morgana stun. It requires someone else to help you. Someone else needs to auto, right? To get that or you need auto four times your ulti kind of slow hard to land if people are like running away or dodging or whatever okay your job as Brom is usually never to do something in the front line i mean you you jump to your teammate to give them armor and magic resist you put up this shield to protect them from projectiles neither of those really is a great move for causing you know fights to happen or whatever that's not your job Leave that to the Poppy or the Xerath or something like that. You know, Gangplank ulti. You know, whoever has initiation on your team, leave it to them. It's not your job. Your job is to keep your AD carry alive. Keep whoever's fed or whatever your job is alive, kite, kind of a thing. Okay? Um, you know, you can even play Kennen. Kennen's great. He'll initiate. He'll just, you know, speed in there. I'm going to show you an example of a time where you need to protect Jinx so that she can do her damage and you will actually be doing the front line as I'm speaking. The fight will work out in your favor, luckily, but that's because of a nice play by Jinx and things like that. Okay, let me see. I need to get up to where I want to be here. Give me one moment. Okay, here we go. So, alright. Little situation, we've been in mid for a while. Uh, Vi will do this a few times. She's out of your raptors. But Jinx is kind of low. It's just the three of you. Poppy's been dead, and Gangplank, of course, top. You guys are wanting the support, the cannon, really bad. You've been sitting there. You've, you've landed one Q and missed, like, two so far just in this little er, stuff for the past, like, 30 seconds to a minute. Your job is not necessarily to be the front line picking that off. You are going to use your ulti here, offensively. Okay, you'll get the kill with the Q. Perfect. Now, we see Zed going for the Jinx. Zed will always do this. That's Zed's goal. If you look at your enemies, okay, we have a Zed and a Vi. Both of them try and pick off one person specifically, and that is what they are good at. Well, in this case, Jinx is that person. Right? So that's why you especially need to sit on your Jinx. So Zed's going to try. He won't actually get in there. You're still sitting here front line trying to make plays or whatever, and we see as Garen comes from behind. Right? You need to be protecting your Jinx. If you have ulti right now, you could block people off, right? You you know, Garen comes in, you could ulti him right off of Jinx, or whatever. Vi comes in, misses her Q, luckily, right? And because she doesn't have ulti up, Jinx does not get ulti, but this gangplank slow, which could have been your Q, if you were right on Jinx at all times, could have been your Q to slow her. But because it's slowed enough, Jinx is able to flash away, and Jinx is going to be able to do damage, and you guys will actually win this fight pretty well, especially because they died. Because Jinx survived. Understanding that it worked out that you weren't on her, okay, and protecting, you were kind of the front line going on the Garen and things like that. You have this mentality of being on the front line, kind of trying to make the play kind of a thing. As Brom, that's not your job. As, a, as an AD carry, I want you on me. I want you protecting me so we can kite. I can just sit there shooting, 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 you know. Oh, Garen, you know, let's say Vi jumps on me. You cue her or auto her, and then I just shoot her, she's stunned, and I pull back, and I keep shooting her, and then she dies right in front of my face. Right, I can throw traps down on top of me and just make a perfect line. Now I'm going to show you an example of where Jinx doesn't die, but she gets pushed out of the fight, and if you could have stayed on her and kept her in the fight, maybe this fight could have been won. 
Not necessarily. It could have been one, but maybe. All right, so I jump forward a little bit. All right, so again, there goes your ulti to start with. All right, Zed's still looking for that assassination. Always, he's pushing, but he's always looking to find that you know that kill. What Zed does is an assassin. Now we're gonna slow down. Watch Jinx's health. So you you're always kind of running forward still, okay? But now we're gonna watch as Jinx gets ultied and everything by Zed. Okay. Now Jinx is gonna survive, but she's gonna have to recall. Okay, so she's gone, almost as if she died. Now we're gonna watch Garen's health. Here comes the turnaround damage you guys try and do. He's losing nothing. Little damage is being taken. I mean, the gangplank Q did nothing. Vi comes in. And eventually, you guys will lose this fight as we speed it forward. Boom. One person dies. Another person, another person. Finally, Jenks gets there. But it's just, it, it's, it was a bad fight. Right? I hope you understand because Jinx was practically dead. Granted, their Caitlyn died too, but their Caitlyn has 1 in 5. Your Jinx is 8 and 1. So... Your goal, keep Jinx alive, and you guys could have won that fight, because you could have shot through Garen. And knowing that Zed is going to go as hard as he can on her. Uh, face the Mountain, of course, is very nice. I'm going to move forward into items now. Uh, like I said, so the three core, of course, is going to be that Face the Mountain, your Boots, and your Sightstone. Now, after that, okay, you don't need the damage from Dead Man's Plate. Okay, again, your job is not to be a tank when you have a Poppy and a Gangplank. You do not need to be a tank frontline. You don't need to use your ulti forward. You don't need to queue. You don't need to make the plays. You need to protect, which a really good item for that is going to be Mikhail's, especially when they have an assassin like Zed where you need quick health shields. Face the Mountain and Mikhail's probably would keep Jinx alive from anything that Zed would throw at her, at least as the first round of burst. That's what I would want out of my support is Mikhail's and Face of the Mountain. That would be amazing as well as you just sit there, ulti when Vi comes on me, you know, or Garen. Keep him back. I can shoot. My favorite thing will always be just to shoot. So let me shoot. If I can sit there with right click rolling, we'll win pretty much any fight. Especially later on, hyper carry Jinx who is fed. Um, I'm gonna give you a nice example of how you know exactly how to protect. You know, you do it great. Um, and but it was on Tirath. <laughs> so Vi again is gonna look for the the fight. Let it catch up. This is not actually what's going on. Anymore. Okay, so Vi's looking, of course, okay, you've got your ulti up, which is perfect, okay, now we've got ulti as Vi goes, goes on, so now there's plenty of room, right, we got the slow, people are shooting, look at that, this man's got plenty of room, it's great, you ulti to protect, it's amazing, it's exactly what you need to do with Jinx, at all times, so a lot of time you can just sit next to Jinx and be happy, like, especially because they're going to come in on her, because it's Zed and Vi. There's different reasons why you guys will lose this game. But like I said, I'm looking for things that apply to later on. And apply to your question. So I would have gotten Mikhail's in this situation. Not care about tank when you have tanks. Uh, especially when you're Braum. Um, I understand Braum seems tanky and whatnot. That's not exactly his job. Uh, at least as support his build. His abilities are not meant for... For tanking, actually, uh, he his passive is meant for having a teammate there, kind of like the support version of Callista. You need your teammate around to actually do things. He does not get all four procs on very easily at all. His passive, and that's like Brahms' thing. Hope this helped you. If you have other questions, or other uh, replays you want me to look at, I'd be really happy to do that. Um, of course, anything, any questions or. Anything you're worried or wonder about this uh, video or you think, you know, you disagree with or don't understand, please, please let me know. Hope this helped you a bunch. You have a good one.